Uh, who else is on it? Who's on it? Yeah, it's me, Cardi B. Oh, which is wow. Cool, and Charlie XCX. And I feel like it's like this kind of like Moulin Rouge remake. It's really cool. And please <laughs> welcome to the official Vodafone Big Top 40. I'm so excited she's here. It's BB Rector, everyone. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm really good, thank you. Uh, well, congratulations on all the success of Meant To Be. It's been such a huge tune. Did you ever imagine that it would be this big? <laughs> not, especially not in the UK. No? Well, because it's like, uh, you know, it's been so unexpected for me too. Like I got into the studio with Florida Georgia Line and I was like, okay, country, pop, but I'm pop, you know? And yeah. I was like, whatever. And then it's like, I didn't, I expected it maybe to be bigger in the US, but never the UK. Yeah. So I was like, we, this is weird. We don't have a lot of country in the UK. Uh, so. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. So I was like, you know what? I'll take it. That's cool. Yeah. I think it's cool to like break boundaries and do different things thank you for introducing us to it i guess i mean yeah. not introducing but no, you know but bringing it into mainstream yeah for it's us. cool i mean like i've you know doing it pop and then going into that is weird but it's cool are you gonna do more country songs now mm, probably uh, you know what i have country features i'm thinking about, you know, my album i'm just finishing up like very little touches okay and um, i have like more pop songs like cooler songs and i'm like I'm, I'm putting country artists on like just one or two and it's really cool anyone we know probably T-Swizzle? Are we going to get a Taylor Swift on there? Who knows? <laughs> Blink once for yes and twice for no. Oh, oh, that was too many. I couldn't count. <laughs> uh, we heard that you didn't think you were working with Florida George Lyon when you got in the studio. You thought you were meant to be working with someone else. Yeah, I, like, I don't know. I was confused because I don't really, like, follow country music like that. So, like, I grew up in New York, you know? So I was like, okay. I was expecting this other uh, band called Little Big Town and it's two girls and two guys. Right. So when I walked in, I was, like, so confused. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't meet because I, I was, like, so confused. Were you just waiting to be like, like they're going to be here in a minute. Hey, let's just talk. No, like I was like... I don't know. I was just like really shocked, and they were like, "Okay, should we write?" And I was like, "What?" Because oh I thought God. it was just gonna. We were just meeting, and I was like, freaked out. Wow, so worked like, out well to, though. I don't know how to write songs like this. But. <laughs> uh, the album expectations is on the way. What can you tell us about it? We're finishing it up, and it's. Um, I don't know. It's really. It's. It's special. I think I. I don't know. I put all my favorite sounds into it and all my inspirations and it's really real. And I think that finally it's going to be a, like I wanted to do something that was more like a sound of like all the things that I loved instead of just putting out songs that are just like features and trying to like have a hit song and then become this like just become known for the songs that are on the radio that are big. I want yeah. there to be more of a brand and I want people to see that because there's so much more to me. So that's what this album definitely is. Oh wait, when are we going to get it? Um, June 22nd. Oh, it's, we do have a date for it. Yeah, and it's on pre-order right now and then like it's cool because like I was really inspired by No Doubt and yes. I feel like I never got to like really like take all my inspirations like No Doubt Lauren Hill and then like really like put them into my music so I finally got to do that with my album and I think everything will make sense even like the country song or the song I did with g Easy or like the song I did with Geta like the dance and hip hop and the country I think like on this album will make total sense yeah it somehow makes sense it's crazy is there anyone else you'd like to work with maybe Gwen Stefani I would love to work with Gwen Stefani how can we make that happen um, I don't know. Maybe we can like talk about it in this interview and then send her the clip. Let's do that. Or like tweet her with it. Yeah, on slide in her DMs with it. I'll I think slide in her DMs. I'm yeah. going to make that work for you. Oh, we hear you're going to be on Rita's new tune as well. Yeah. What can you tell us about that? Um, can I talk about it? Yeah, right. Um, you know, she hit me up and was like, I have the song called Girl. I like love her to pieces. Like she's such an awesome person. Do you hang out anyway? Uh, yeah. Well, last time we hung out was me, my mom, and her, and it was fun. <laughs> we just like stayed out all night. Even my mom. What like, did you like, lot get up to? You've got like a cheeky glint in your eye. Where did you go? What happened? Did um, your mom stay out all well, night? My mom left. <laughs> She'd had well, enough. Huh? She'd had enough. Yeah, she's like, I can't. You guys have fun. And I was like, okay. But Rita could like really party. But like, <laughs> I get, I start getting like old lady lazy at a certain time. Okay, what time and did you get in? And she looks perfect at like all times of the day. So I'm like, I don't know how this is possible. Like she'll show up in like in like in like a vintage shirt, and I'm like. I don't even know, like, how this girl looks so good. Yeah, and she's like, I've not been home. I just put this on. Just found it. does not sleep and just goes, goes, goes. <laughs> um, yeah, but I like, I like, like, I like her as a person. Like, I think she's really, like, real and, like, usually when you hang out with other girls in the business, it's, like, a weird vibe. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like, oh, my God, like, ha, ha, ha. And then, like, it's like, I'll backstab you. Like, I'm still going to, like, I don't want you to take my place. Whereas, like, with her, it's, like, just cool. Yeah. You know, and she's I want her to, to win. Home. And like, yeah, she's like just a chill girl. So oh, she hit me up and was like, um, I have a song called Girls. Girls, girls, girls. Girls, girls, girls. 
And I was like, which is the name of her tour too. Yeah, and I was like, what? <laughs> and oh yeah, 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 the name of her tour. And it's like this awesome record, and we have so many cool collaborators on it. And oh it's like God. this, it's this, uh, it's yeah. Who's on, who else say is on it? Who's on it? Yeah, it's me, Cardi B. Oh which is wow! Cool, and Charlie XCX. And I feel like it's like this kind of like Moulin Rouge remake. It's really cool. And, but it's like, but we only shot the video too. Like I was in London, I shot the video and it's so, I love it because like the video is not what you think it would be. It's right. like this, it's like self love. Like okay. obviously the song is about kissing girls, but it's that, but also like falling in love with yourself and wanting like just to make out with yourself. Did you all get together to do it in London? Yeah. Oh my well, God. me and Rita shot it here and then Cardi and um, Charlie shot it in LA. Oh my God. Because we can't, can't make wait. Cardi fly. No, not pregnant. right now. That's, that would be mean, right? <laughs> yeah, that would be a little bit mean. Right? Like, I feel like that was a stage of her, like, eating her food and just being, like, pregnant. Yeah, having a good time. I would be like, I'm not leaving my house. <laughs> I'd be like, you have to pull a green screen behind my bed and start filming me. I'm not moving. Oh my bed. Literally. <laughs> I told her makeup in bed. I, told my, I was talking about it with my team. I was like, I don't know how she does it. No, like, to I go, 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 go. I said, if I get pregnant and I'm on the road I said you guys will have to be rolling me around because I'm going to order 10 million t- fish and chips I'm going to order hamburgers I'm not going to give one <laughs> just stay at home F. <laughs> seriously like that I'm out for a bit guys nine seriously, months see yeah. you later <laughs> we have to roll this studio into my apartment uh, we ask this to all of our guests we have a go on our school int- instruments and play us a little something can you play us any songs or anything like that we've got a keyboard right here oh yeah, yeah. I wish you had awesome. a trumpet huh I wish we had a trumpet. I wish we had a trumpet. I wish we had a bloody trumpet. <laughs> Wait, am I playing a little something? What a request. I wish you had a trumpet. <laughs> well, no, because I had played trumpet yeah. for a long time. Oh, my Next God. Coming, we'll have a trumpet for you. Yeah, so we'll get it ready. So I play something on this? Yeah. What can you play? Um, I can play chords and, like, sing something. Please do. <laughs> in this key let's see all right we've ever had on this show. You oh, absolutely smashed it. I'm sorry, I wish I could have practiced. And one more time for Baby Rector, yeah. everyone. Oh. <laughs> that was incredible. Sorry, yeah, that's the best I could do. What you, oh, my, yeah, oh, God, if you could practice next time, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Baby, I would have done my, like, oh, I would have done my warm-up, so it's fine. Would you stick around so we can see where your song charts today? Is that all right? Yeah. It's Baby Rector, everyone. Yeah. Our next song, it comes from our guest today, it's BB Rexa. Yeah. Yeah. How does that I'm feel? I'm clapping for my own you song. You should like, be. Whoa. You whoa, should whoa, 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 whoa. be. It's been doing amazing. <laughs> How does that feel? Awesome. I heard it on the radio, so it's cool. Like, I'm like, yes. <laughs> you heard it, what, once on the radio? Twice. Oh, good. It's amazing. Yeah. I swear, I was like, when we were going to the video shoot, and I was like, woo, I was like, Snapchat this. Not Snapchat, Instagram live. I mean, Instagram story. <laughs> any of them, just get it out there. Uh, do you have any messages for your fans that love the team? Um, I love them very much. I know my fans were like, when I first put it out, were like, oh, why are you doing this? And then now they all love it. But I love them no matter what because they're amazing and they're everything. And I call them my Rexars. Rexars, I like I know, that. it's like, I don't know. It's my cute. name is Rexa. Like, how are we going to like possibly, that's what they wanted. It's Rexas. Just, just let them do what they want. Ugly fan name, fandom name. They've got name, some questions fine. for you though. Rachel said, you are incredible. Will you be coming over for any festivals this summer? I want to hear meant to be in the sunshine. Ooh, I don't know. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> well, because I don't have any. Sorry. Usually, I'm sorry. I usually have <laughs> sorry, like pre booked. Maybe next year, but. Okay. Damn, that would be good. Maybe yeah. I'm going to come back for like, um, I'm going to tour. I want to tour. Okay. I have, like for my own tour. I haven't toured in a while. Okay. Well, we'll look forward to that. Alex says, love the country vibes on the tune. I love a good hoedown. <laughs> Will you do any more? Will you be doing any more? I love a good hoedown too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm not sure it means the same thing. Uh, what, was that? what was that second half of the question? Uh, will you be doing any more? Hoedowns? All night, every night. <laughs> Oh my god! Especially, especially in West Hollywood. If you come to West Hollywood in Los Angeles, meet me at the Abbey. Um, you know what? 
<laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, Jack says you auditioned for American Idol. If you went on it now, what would you sing? Oh, you know, when I first went to American Idol, I sang you know, Duffy. Remember Duffy? Mm. I loved her Mercy. so much. Yeah, yeah. I sang it, but the problem was like when I auditioned, I waited 10 hours in line. Oh, good. And I, I didn't know, like, you can't sing the whole time. No. You gotta like save your voice. So I was like singing the whole time thinking I needed to warm up like an idiot. And then by the time I got to sing, I didn't, in front of the producers, I like had, like, I was like, ah, like What I would cracked. you sing this time if you did it again? Um, what would I sing? I would, I don't know. If I went again, I would sing the same song. Okay. Because I would be like, watch me now. <laughs> <laughs> I told, I told all, everybody that was that, like, that during that season, like, I told them. I, I even, like, bumped into Simon and I was like, I didn't get through on American Idol. I love that. What did he say? I don't think he said anything. Oh. Did he say anything? He asked if, if he was on the show. Oh, yeah. He asked if, if he was on the show, but I said I didn't even get through the first round. Wow. And he's like, I'm sure we fire those people. <laughs> That's a great response. Uh -huh. Bibi, would you please introduce your song on the official Vodafone Big Top 40? Hey, I'm Bibi Rexa, and this is my song meant to be on the official Vodafone Big Top 40. Bibi Rexa, everyone! Yay!